What's up guys, how's it going? And welcome to this Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. This is a tutorial aimed at beginners. We're gonna go through the entire process of making a game in Unreal Engine 5. And we're gonna be starting with the early access because that's what we have available for now. Uh, before we get started, I wanna give a quick shout out to Archangel, Todd M and Leslie Media. Thank you so much for your support. If you'd like to support the channel and get shout outs like this, click on that join button below and I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, with that being said, let's jump into the tutorial. So here we have Unreal Engine 5. I'm really excited to use this engine. The graphics capabilities have been enhanced greatly in this version. It's super cool. I've been having a lot of fun with the um, sample project. Um, the Valley of the Ancient. It's a playable project with a drone, and then you can go in and fight a boss and um, vault over some cool stuff and destroy some pillars. It's a good time all around. But we wanna actually jump into the engine itself, so let's go ahead and install that. Click on Download Early Access and install the engine to um, Epic Games Launcher. Once you have it installed, go ahead and launch that Early Access and wait for it to load. This may take a little while uh, depending on your system, but don't worry, I'll show you some tips and tricks on how to uh, get the engine to run faster if you have a lower end system and still wanna make games um, without having to necessarily deal with some of that lag that comes up. All right, so now we have our Unreal Project Browser open, and this is where we can actually create new projects or open up old projects, similar to the old launcher, but in a much nicer user interface, I, I think at least. Uh, so we actually wanna create a new project, so we're gonna choose between one of these. I'm gonna use game for this example, and we'll see that we have all of these different um, examples here. We have the blank project, which just has a plane and nothing else. We have a first person project that includes a gun template, um, a puzzle template, a third person template, a top down template, handheld AR, which is really fun to um, create AR experiences on mobile, virtual reality, also a blast, and I believe updated as well, and then um, an advanced vehicle template. We're going to use the first person template for this project. Um, I'm going to place this on my two terabyte drive, and I'm going to name it uh, YouTube tutorial UE5. All right, and um, we can choose between Blueprints or C++. I'll be using Blueprints for this tutorial. Um, our target platform will be desktop, and quality preset is maximum. We're gonna keep the starter content, but I'm not gonna use ray tracing because I have an AMD chip. So because my graphics card is an AMD card, I can't use um, fully, the, the way Unreal Engine uses it is more, um, it uses technology from NVIDIA, so I just don't use this um, in my project. So we're going to go ahead and create the project. All right, so here is our new project. Um, it may take a while to update everything. We're going to go ahead and click on Update, uh, dismiss the plugins, and we have our project here, which we can look around. And if we hit Play, we can play it in the target viewport. Uh, beware of loud sounds because when I shoot, ugh, it's super loud. So um, that's one of the things we might actually disable while we're editing. So um, yeah, so let's go ahead and press escape to exit the game mode and um, take a look at what we have available in our browser. So we have a content drawer down here and when we click on that, you'll see everything that um, is in our projects folder. And these are all things that we can um, drag into our scene or assets that we can use within our game um, and engine. So for example, if I went to geometry and meshes, I can see that if I wanted to add a new cube, I can simply drag a new cube here and place it into the scene. Let's go ahead and delete that cube because we don't want to. Um, on the right side, we have our world outliner and anything in our scene. So if I click here, it's gonna show up in our outliner. And this will say every single item within our level. So for example, our skylight, if we click on that, we can choose all of the um, variable information for that light. 
Um, so yeah, we have our inspector down here, which is where we can edit information about any object. Our first person character, for example, we can scroll down and change different types of phys physics properties and um, components that we want to add to it, things like that. Um, if the engine is running a little slow, there's a few things we can do to fix that. Um, so as sort of a setup, let's go to settings and go to engine scalability settings. And this is similar to the scalability settings that you would have in a regular video game. Um, for example, if you set to medium, and I like to keep resolution scale at 100%, so it's always at high resolution, and then hit play, you'll notice that the gameplay is a lot more smooth than before. So we can also edit our project settings in the edit window. We go to project settings, and we're going to go to render, rendering, sorry. We're going to look for global elimination method and change this from lumen to none. And that will actually switch back to Unreal Engine's method of rendering. Uh, so let's close this and allow us to play our game much quicker as well. So all of that's going to help you with your um, in-game rendering and editor rendering as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is it for the setup video. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to make some edits and blueprints, how to use the Quixel Mixer content browser to add new content into your scene, um, and how to create interactions between your projectiles and other objects within the scene. Um, we'll also edit the lighting and um, the sky and uh, time of day and all that stuff. It, it, all the good fun things that um, come with game making right at, right at the beginning. And then we'll jump into the more nitty gritty uh, blueprint editing and material editing after. Let me know if you have any suggestions for uh, this video series and which direction you'd like it to go. And uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers? And you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? <laughs> I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99, and that's a great price.